Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Quench. Last time, we got through the Great Crossing again. God, I got annoyed with that one as well. But, I do believe we are about to reach the end of our journey. I know I said that last time, uh, when we were back at the Eastern Elder Tree. But now we're back at the Western Elder Tree. Back where we first started. Uh, and I do think our final battle is coming up shortly. Let's get started, shall we? United tribes traveled through desolate lands. Zebra, wildebeest, springbok, all absent. Trapped by smoke beasts, the lost herd try had tried to make the crossing. And by shepherd's grace, they made it to the shore. As the dust settled, Scout reappeared. Leading the way were flocks left behind by the pilgrimage. And so the tribes arrived in the Westland. Ready to face Relic at the Western Elder Tree. I wonder if we're going to get infinite abilities. I'd like to imagine we will. <laughs> oh boy. This land is very special to my people. I didn't want to believe it could be corrupted. It is difficult to see. But we must move forward. We need a plan. It, It's alright. We have the child of the Western Elder Tree and the seeds of the Eastern Elder Tree. We can overcome this. Shaman is right. We know the seeds can rid the smoke beast of darkness. Perhaps it could do the same for Relic. <laughs> Could work, yeah. But how will we reach her? She's larger, faster, more powerful than Shepard. Eh, if I may. Get on with it, then. Shepard will need to stun Relic somehow. Maybe while she's gathering energy and distracted. Get her to land and stay still long enough. Yes, yes. Once Shepard has immobilized her, it will be much easier to plant a seed. And enough seeds may calm Emberheart's flames and clear Relic's mind. There are many shrines in the area surrounding the tree. It will be up to us to offer prayers to the shrine so Shepard has the strength to heal Relic. It's a good plan. I believe in us. Come, friends. We should reach the Western Elder Tree by sunset. And thank you, all of you, for coming this far with me. I'm going to assume we're not going to get infinite then, based on that they just said. Shepard and Relic. The pilgrimage has come full circle. Relic awaits at the start. There she is. She's already sapped most of the Elder Tree's life source. See the grooves around the tree? If she manages to corrupt all of them, we're done for. Well, I'll help you. Send us out to the shrines and we'll help restore your seed power. You can use it on Relic or restore the groves. Just make sure you have enough seed to heal her completely. Let's do this! Why does it say B? So I'm going to have six seeds total, it looks like. Who else is there? Zebra? No, I have the spring lock out of that one.
You've received unlimited lightning. Oh. Hey, Chef, the Springbok have your back. I wasn't aware that was what we were going for here. I think we could probably make do with just unlimited rain. My dear friend, we believe in you. Yeah, I think I can survive on just these two. I think I'll... Deepest thanks and apologies, dear Shepherd. Okay, 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 thank you. But uh, I need to. Yes, yes, do your best, child of the other tree. Thank you. Super annoying. My family will honor you always. Okay, I can't really. I really can't talk right now, guys. I'm sorry. Or I can't read because uh, you don't stop the timer for me, which is kind of annoying. It's a little messed up. You don't stop it. You'll do all right, Shep. Which one failed? Which one failed? Which one failed? Which one failed? I want to know which one failed. Because I honestly don't know which one failed. <sighs> Rain is definitely the one we have to ultimate on. I'm still going to use a seat on this area.
That's it. Yes. Your seeds are working. God, that sounds really sexual, but all right. I still stand by that, uh... Yeah, yeah, I know. Hush. Doing my best here. I saw a couple other people were in danger. I think it was you guys. That's why these two are probably the best abilities, I would say, for this fight. That's fine. I'm not doing that. That'll end up killing him. You'll do all right, Shep. Why? What is happening? Oh my god. I would like it if the game actually said. So it wasn't the Power Groves. Oh my god. Alright, I'm. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. I'm gonna try this one more time. Um. I'm wondering if there's a, a bug where it thinks once I have all the people at their spots, it automatically gives them a game over. I've noticed, I noticed that uh, it did that. I don't want to see whether or not it does that again. We're only going to send a certain amount of people to uh, their thing. So we're going to leave at least one or two people kind of just left on their own. And we'll go from there and see what happens. And uh, if it if it if it does it, then um then I'm I'm honestly not sure because I I've spent about a half hour, not, I think more than a half hour, I think 45 minutes looking up anything on this chapter. Nobody I, I feel like nobody's played this game. Or at least they have, but there's no recorded evidence of it. I've tried looking up Let's Plays, walkthroughs, guides. Nobody seems to play this game, and that's kind of depressing, but... You know, oh. I just don't know what to do. Well, just, it did it again. This bug. All right, I gotta restart again. Gosh darn it. 
I don't even honestly. I'm, I'm just been at this for almost an hour now. I'm gonna be honest. This I, I might have. This might have to be a canceled let's play, which really sucks because I think this is the last. I think this is the last one, last level. I mean, obviously, if you, you're seeing this, it's not. But I'm, just, I'm gonna be honest. I'm I'm kind of tired, and if I can't find out why. It, it, it's doing this. It, I, I just don't know what to do. I'm gonna be honest. I really don't know what I'm supposed to do here. It, it's just a little silly. Maybe I have to rescue all of them? Is that what it is? I have to rescue all of them? No, there's six, five, and I have to use three, yeah. Yep, she'll rest, because I hit her with rain. Boom. Now, this is around the point where the game kind of bugs out on me. I'm going to save one of my seeds still. I hit you with rain. Okay. I, I, Cause that's what I figured it was. It's still not corrupted. I still got three more. Nobody's dying. Going down again. About to use our second seed. We go. Now we just need to get the elephants over there. I think we have it. I'm starting to think it might just be that they, there's a bug. If that's the case, then that's definitely that's that one's I would definitely say that's pretty bad. Like, that's honestly really bad. Yeah, that I think that was what it was. You can't use all... Yeah. Okay, that's what it was. That's really bad. Why, though? Why? So, okay, so for those who are wondering what I'm talking about, the bug is you can't use all of the- you can't put all of them at the altars. Shepard, you've done it. She's calming down. I cannot believe it. That is- that's a bad glitch. So, okay. So, let me- let me- let me- let me just go into depth what that is and what I figured out. So, I guess for some reason the game takes you getting all the tears as you used up all your te oh, tears, you you getting all of the seeds by putting all of the animals at the different spots. It's for some reason the game reads that as, oh, you used up all your seeds. 
game over. I don't know why. I don't know if that that has that's a programming error. Someone programmed that incorrectly. That's really bad, because that was aggravating until I had to think about it. So that's clearly what the problem was. Just oh, devs, I hope you're seeing this. That's really bad. That's really really bad. Please fix that. Please fix that. All right. Well, let's continue. Thank you. Hey, you're a pretty birdie now. Oh my god, I can't get over how big you are compared to, compared to us. Oh no! Oh, we both went. Oh, well, I guess that makes sense. We helped the pilgrimage. Now we're gonna rest. Oh, look everyone. I guess we now protect the western tree, which make, which I kind of disagree with, because I think one of us should be over to protect the eastern one, and then one to hopefully revitalize the middle one, but yeah, anyway. And there you go. There's a next level. Uh-oh. I thought this was the end. Unless it's going to credits. The pilgrimage is finished. The smoke beasts have been put to rest. Our home has been restored, and I am so grateful. But there is still much to do to restore everyone's homes and tribes. We have no shepherd now, but we have each other. Credits? Okay, so we'll talk about those last three chapters momentarily, but uh, ignoring those, uh, this is actually a really good game. I really enjoyed the music. The puzzles themselves were entertaining. They were definitely, like I said, uh, ignoring those three, there were still some parts that I got a little annoyed at. Not necessarily, though, because of bad design. Um, I definitely say the first one is definitely the crossing. That is such an annoying level because of the, <laughs> because of the springbok, but then the game does give you tips about how the springbok are really bad. At swimming so looking back it makes sense that I had to end up losing them uh, I'm really glad that there's no like you have to keep all of them alive like you can't lose a single health point I, I, I'm, I kind of accepted that after a while I mean I was still determined um, throughout this game to make sure nobody lost any health but after a while you kind of stop caring because you're just like okay there's no 100% completion thing in this so just 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 use just you if, if one of them goes down one of them goes down you can't you can't help that um, I, I do really kind of, I still, I said it, I said it in a previous part, one of the last parts, but I still stand by that I really think they would have been cool if they did a prequel game to this before this game even came out with you playing as Relic and then doing the pilgrimage to that tree to wherever. And you got to play as like the tortoise, the jaguars is what I was assuming what the, uh, those were and then you had the other you had the stags and so on i really think that would have been cool if you play if that game came out first you played through that had a kind of ominous ending about it foreshadowing to this game and then you play this game you're like oh this is super cool yay we get to go to another pilgrimage and then you eventually see what looks to be like if you played the previous game you'd be like oh my god is that relic what why is he black all of a sudden Oh my god, that sounds super bad. I'm going to apologize for that one. But why is he, like, dark and evil looking? And, and then, eventually, as the game goes on, you realize, like, oh, that is that is him. Uh, all of uh, the previous people you cared for are now all these cinder beasts and so on. I think that would have been really cool. But that's just more of, that's something else. That's its own thing. I think that would have been really cool if they did it. Uh, and the gameplay said really good. I uh, enjoyed the puzzles. I'm really glad that one thing they didn't really do too much of is, as I think I, I said it during one of the earlier parts, was I was worried that there were going to be a lot of points where an uh, animal is resting and you can't do anything. like Or not that you can't do anything, that um, you'll be attacked or you'll lose a lot of health um, and you can't really do anything because they're sitting at that one spot. There were maybe like a few times that happened or in the case of my stupidity where i just left them on a place they couldn't graze on and get health back those are my faults but i'm glad they didn't do it too much they always left you with an option like here's a place to use rain on to let them rest for a second while they're stopped i'm really glad they did that 
Um, in terms of all the abilities, uh, I honestly feel like Quake is relatively useless. There were a few, very few instances I would want to get Quake. Because if I wanted to stop someone, or if I wanted to get rid of someone, I would either lightning them, or I'd just win them away. Or just use rain to calm them down. Um, it, okay, if I had to pick which one is the most annoying monster, how about we do that? The most annoying cinder monster is definitely the turtles. Oh my goodness. The cinder stag was annoying on that third, la that thir last third, or sorry, last second one. Because I don't know why he still wouldn't die until the tigers or lions got to him, but still, anyway. Um... Okay, I'm like jumping all over the place with uh, how I felt towards this game. Eh, I don't know. It's like I said, it was enjoyable. But those last three chapters, oh my goodness. I feel like there is such a difficulty spike with those last three. It, um, Maybe it was just stupidity on my part. on not realizing that uh, I had to get them all to that one spot first. Those, those purple spots. Because I'm glad I wasn't the only one who saw it. I went onto the Steam discussion boards, and there was actually someone who was very confused as to what you were supposed to do with that. Um, you, pretty much the whole thing was I had just had to get them to those purple spots, as you saw, and then the game progresses. But I wish the game made it a bit more clear, I guess, on that one. I, I guess I got. I guess that one's on me. So I'll, I'll, I'll take that one. As, I, that, I'll take that one as my bad. Um, so I guess that that third one wasn't too bad. Uh, the second last one was annoying, though. God, the crossing is so hard. Uh, water, water in this game is tough. It's a little much. I, I feel like that. I feel like how much health goes down needs to be. If you ever make a sequel to this game or the prequel, like I suggested earlier, I would nerf. I would nerf the water a little bit. That's your health goes down way too much in that. Um, but yeah, otherwise that was fine. Um, but that last chapter, seriously, that needs to be fixed. That's, that's so, like, why, you should, the game over should only happen when the game recognizes that you don't have enough seeds to damage Relic in order to beat them. I think that's, that's where you gotta change the programming on that, because otherwise that's really bad. That's, just because I get all of the spots cleared up and fully get all seeds that I can use available to me, I get a game over, that makes no sense. I, I hope that gets fixed. Um, otherwise, I really don't have that many things to complain about. Um, story was fine. It was it's it's simple, but it's still really nice. Uh, I really like the art style of this game. It's very very simple, but very pretty. It's I like it a lot. I'm I'm gonna be out put that out there. It's the best thing about this game is definitely the the uh, graphics. I I definitely like it a lot. But um, I I guess that's pretty much it. I I hope they oh. Pfft game closed out for some reason. Why was it quite why does it keep closing out? Thank you. Um I'm gonna turn up the music a little bit since we're in the last part. Um but otherwise can't really think of anything else to say. I definitely recommend it. You can either get it on the itch.io uh or Steam, which I'll be putting both in the link in the description down below. Um but uh otherwise I, I hope we I hope we see more games like this. Like I said, I'm still hoping for that prequel <laughs> that prequel game. I want that to happen. It's it would have been so good. I know obviously it's not as good as it could be in my head now, but I would like to, I would like to see it. Give different give the get, get uh to see the tortoises, the jaguars, the the stags. I would I would I would totally be down for that. But uh and the fireflies, can't forget the fireflies. Maybe be like the tortoises and fireflies are immune to water, but the fireflies have like no like rain does rain only hurts fireflies or something. You could you could do some interesting stuff with that. In terms of favorite tribe, I guess I could talk about. Um, honestly, I gotta say elephants just they're the they are they are good. They have really good stamina. They don't they rarely fall for being at seven. I guess that's the point. They're really durable. They're really strong, but they're also really basic. They don't get hurt at all. Um, I probably would have to say the... Um, I forgot their names. I almost said antelope, but that's not right. Um, Springbok. Springbok are probably my least favorite. Um, just simply because they just, they're just they so weak. And that weakness to water is just... Oh, that's so bad. That is honestly the worst. I understand they give you 18 health of them, and it makes sense why they'd give you it because they are so, so fragile. And then if you, if then if they get hit by any of the cinder stags or the, uh, 
I'm just gonna keep calling them cinder tortoises or tortoises because I can't really think. I forget. They had a name, but I don't remember what they were. But when I think it hit that the tortoises, oh, they're done. They, they'll disperse and you'll lose so many of them. I would probably say, even though we got them fairly uh, towards the end game, um, the uh, lions are pretty good too. Being able to defend themselves pretty well. Same goes for the baboons, but the baboons are not as strong. But, uh,. I, I, the only one I really had a hard time with was the spring bug. But, uh, otherwise, I, uh, can't really think of anything else to say. I keep trying to think of more stuff to say, but the credits are almost over, so there's not much more to say. But, um, yeah. So, uh, I will see you all next time when, uh, we figure something out. I wonder if it's gonna give me a end game thing. I doubt it, right? It kind of hinted that there was more to do, but I, I hope not. Uh, however, I will see you all next time. Till then. Till then.